Did you know that despite their similar looks, gophers and groundhogs are quite different creatures? Indeed, these two types of burrowing rodents might fool you with their earthy hues and furry bodies, but a closer look reveals a world of difference. Starting with their family trees, gophers fall under the Geomeidae family, which is a charming collection including pocket gophers, kangaroo rats, and pocket mice. Groundhogs, on the other hand, belong to the Shiridae family, more specifically, the genus Marmota, which encompasses various species of marmots. It's like comparing apples to oranges in the rodent world. Physically, these animals are easy to tell apart once you know what to look for. Gophers sport hairless tails and have distinctive yellow or brownish teeth that protrude from their mouths. Their cheeks are not just for show, they feature fur-lined pockets used for storing food. Their feet often appear pink, adding to their unique look. In contrast, groundhogs boast a more robust form with brown or black feet and no cheek pockets. They are considerably larger than gophers, sometimes weighing up to 13 pounds. When it comes to habitat and behavior, the differences are just as stark. Gophers are the subterranean shy ones, preferring to stay underground where they feast on roots and tubers. This makes them the bane of many gardeners who find their new plants uprooted. Groundhogs, meanwhile, are more sociable with the surface world. They're commonly seen enjoying a diet of plants and fruits. Their burrows serve multiple purposes, a place for hibernation, a refuge from harsh weather, and a safe spot from predators. Interestingly, while groundhogs hibernate through the winter, gophers do not take a break. They remain active all year, altering landscapes with their continuous digging. They create what are known as eskers, winding mounds of soil that are particularly visible in the spring. In summary, while gophers and groundhogs might share a penchant for digging, their family, physical traits, and behaviors set them worlds apart. Next time you spot a small furry creature darting into a hole in the ground, take a moment to observe. You might just be able to tell whether it's a gopher with its pink feet and protruding teeth or a groundhog, the larger, more sociable cousin making its way back to its burrow.